Hello, I'm Ms. A. Soma. Welcome to my Japanese learning lesson. This video is about the often used phrase Yoroshiku o You would probably seen or heard the phrase Yoroshiku o in your studies as a greeting for people who are meeting for the first time. Let me use this in an example. Hajimemoshite, Soma desu. Yoroshiku o this is the complete greeting you would use when you meet somebody for the first time. So what does everything mean here? Let's break it down bit by bit. Hajimemashite. Hajime begin. Mash polite. The perfect past tense. Literally, we have begun and true meaning is nice to meet you. Soma desu. Soma. My last name, this polite ending, literally, Soma is true meaning, I'm Soma. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. Yoroshiku, well, o, polite, negai, wish, hope, desire, beg, please, she, do, must, polite, literally, I do wish well, meaning is, I wish us good luck with our relationship. How nice is this for a first time greeting? However, Others don't generally translate Yoroshiku onegai shimasu in quite this way, so let me explain it further. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu doesn't have a perfect equivalent in English. Please see these other approximate translations. Please accept, please be nice to me, please admit it, please take care of me, please treat me appropriately, I beg your kindness, thank you, thank you young fans, it was nice to meet you, it's pleasure to meet you, I'm excited to work with you, I look forward to working with you, we look forward to doing business with you, thank you for having me, thank you for taking care of it, thank you for doing this, I'm counting on you, most sincerely, best regards, your help would be very appreciated, I'm sorry for the inconvenience caused, but your help would be highly appreciated, I'm sorry for your trouble, I'm sorry to trouble you, I really appreciate your great support, thank you very much for your kind support. These are all correct. And as native Japanese speakers, we say Yoroshiku onegaishimasu very often and sometimes feel weird when this gets left out. Let me give you some examples of situations where we use it. Example one. You are in the college or social club in Japan and you will have a karaoke party the following day. すみません。明日カラオケなんでよろしくお願いします。はい。はい。明日、tomorrow、カラオケ、カラオケ。な、conclusion Please make sure to have enough money, or please practice your favorite song, or many other meanings that wish for your positive welfare. But no one, not even the speaker, is concerned with what the precise meaning here. The phrase generally conveys a positive feelings and wish for a good experience. Example two. On eBay or Yahoo auction in Japan, when you contact a seller about payment. Asu tomorrow, furikomi transfer must polite no de because literally tomorrow transfer so meaning is I plan to pay you tomorrow. Here can mean please wait until tomorrow or please check your account soon or please send it safely or please don't make a bad review or generally positive feelings about completing transactions smoothly together. Again, not even the speaker is concerned with what the meaning is here. Example 3 on the Japanese New Year letter, Nengajo in Japanese, like that, like that, we always say, Akemashite, Omedetou gozaimasu. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Ake, dawn, mash, polite, te, 
perfect past tense. おめでとう。Congratulation. Literally, this year has dawned. Congratulation. True meaning is Happy New Year. 今年 this year も also. Here, よろしくお願いします。means take good care of me this year too or treat me well or Have a good relationship this year too, or thank you for everything, or many other meanings that wish for the good relationship of us. And again, no one is concerned about what the meaning is here. In all these cases, if we omitted よろしくお願いします the sentence's meaning will stay the same. But It doesn't feel natural without saying this polite phrase, which is for a good relationship moving forward. To Japanese, よろしくお願いします feels like a wish or prayer and conveys positive emotions. If you say good luck in English, no one cares about what type of luck you are wishing them exactly, right? So I recommend. Thinking of よろしくお願いします is roughly good luck to us. This feels better than treat me appropriately, right? So let's wrap things up. はじめまして、そうまです。よろしくお願いします。すいません。明日カラオケなんでよろしくお願いします。明日振り込みますのでよろしくお願いします。明日明けましておめでとうございます。今年もよろしくお願いします。For watching this lesson, I will create more videos about languages, cultures, and pronunciations. So please make sure to subscribe below to get notified when I post the new videos for you. See you in the next video. 今後もよろしくお願いします。ありがとうございました。